to us tonight. And uh, some of you here, you're the, this is the first time you've met us. You don't know our story. You don't know who we are. But I want to tell you this. We're children of God. We're yes, children of yeah. the High. We are fellow heirs with Christ. Yes. And uh, God is good. Yes. And God is good. And I appreciate all that He is. And I appreciate how the Spirit of the Lord has talked to us tonight. Amen. And uh, so I can speak for my wife and I and for our church, and I can say the Lord has ministered to us. Yes. And I just appreciate this opportunity. I thank God that He's met us here. Yes. Amen. He's met us here. He's good everywhere. Yes. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna just move right along. And I want to tell you that I'm gonna read a text out of the book of 1 Kings, chapter 5. I want to read one verse of scripture, and then I'm just gonna to yield to the Lord and let him lead and direct the best. Um, that I can allow him to do that, okay? All right, in 1 Kings chapter 5, we'll read verse 5. That verse alone. And I ask that you pray for me because I want to just follow the perfect will of the Lord. The Bible tells us in Acts, I'm um, sorry, 1 uh, Kings 5 and 5. And behold, I purpose to build a house unto the name of the Lord my God. As the Lord spake unto David my father, saying, Thy son, whom I will set upon thy throne, in thy room, he shall build a house unto my name. Would you bow your head? Father, we are so thankful, God, for this opportunity. We thank you for Brother Jewel and his family. We thank you for the church. We thank you for the fellowship churches and pastors. We appreciate the friendships. We appreciate, Lord, the family of God. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought us together in this house and you have ministered to us. Lord, you have spoken to us through Brother Titus and you've spoken to us through these uh, young singers and, and the glorious music. We thank you, Lord, for this night of praise. Lord, it has reminded us that you are good. And Lord, that you know us by name. And Father, you have not forgotten who we are, where we're at, or what you have called us to do. We are honored, Lord, and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to look just for a minute at this passage, passage of Scripture. There is a phrase in this passage of Scripture that I want to key on. The phrase is, my in my room. Okay, three words. In my room room. In this particular passage of scripture, this is Solomon talking about how the Lord had already spoken to David, his father, that there would be a purpose of him building the temple, the house of God, after the reign of David and during the reign of Solomon. And so Solomon is just reiterating, he is reestablishing the words that have been spoken and what God has given him license to do. And he uses an expression here that we find in several places through the scripture. He talks about how the Lord said, thy son, who I, talking about, this is the Lord speaking, I will set upon thy, talking about David, throne in thy, in, that's David again, thy room. He shall build a house unto my name. So, the, the one that's coming after you that is going to take your place oh. is going to build the house. Right. When we study David, we find that he was a man of the sword, a man of blood. And God said, you're not going to build the house, but your son will build the house. Right. This expression, in thy room, is one that it's, it's biblical and you find it through the Bible, but you don't hear about it anywhere else. I looked up the word, the Hebrew word in this passage of Scripture is a word that's spelled T-A-H-A, ta -ha. And I can't say it with the, with the Hebrew, you know, sounds. They've got a lot of air behind their syllables and things like that. And I think they say ta -ha. something like that, okay? Uh, you can laugh, that's fine. <laughs> say, excuse me, because <laughs> who ta -ha. And uh, this word, this word is the Hebrew word that they then translated into three words, in thy room. And so when you begin to look up this word, you find that it is not only used for 
those three words. But there are other words and expression that the English translator, translators use different English words, but it derived from the same Hebrew word. And so when we go to the scripture in Genesis, we find that the Lord was creating. And he said there was a division between the firmament, firmament and the earth. And he said under. He used the word under. When you find that word, and that, that is actually in Genesis 1 and 7. When you look at that word under and you trace it back to the Hebrew, you find that it's the word ta'ah. It is that same word in thy room. Okay? But we also go on and we can find in Genesis 22 and 13 that that word is used when uh, Brother Titus was preaching tonight. He got on this and he talked about Abraham taking Isaac up the mountain. And the Bible says he took the fire in his hand and he took his son. And, they, and the son wondered, where is the sacrifice? But we know that the Lord stopped the hand of Abraham from slaying his son. And the Bible says that God provided a ram instead of. Instead of. Now you can go read that scripture. I'm trying to speed through this. And that word, Taha, was there. And it was translated into the word instead. Instead. And so what we find is that when we begin to put these pieces of the puzzle together, we find that Solomon, the son, was raised up from under and he was placed into the throne room of the king. And instead of the old king, now there's a new king. Instead of a, an underling, there is now someone sitting on the throne instead of that which was old. And so when we begin to explore this word room in the room, we find that there's places in the Bible where we see the word room and it's used in a different context. And, and, and different words are used. We find that uh, that word room is used of Jesus when they said he was born in Bethlehem and there was no room for him in the end. We find that Jesus later taught that there was uh, rooms in places that we don't need to desire those rooms. We need to desire the lower places because there's going to be times when we desire the greater and we're going to get put down and we're going to be abased. And so sometimes there's rooms not for us. There's rooms we need to stay out of. But there's times we need to make room. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Instead of taking room, we need to make room. Instead of, instead of taking up space, we need to create some space. And I want to point out to you this, that in the scripture, when we find that Jesus had no room, there was eight days later that the, the parents brought Jesus, the infant, into the temple. And they brought him there, as was the law, to be circumcised and anointed and, and uh, uh, as the Jewish boy. And there was a man there in Jerusalem. And the Lord said that the Holy Ghost, well, the Bible says the Holy Ghost was upon him. And the Lord spoke to him and, and told him to go to that temple. And while Jesus was there, he was led to that young baby. And he took that baby up in his arms. And he began to pray. And he began to see that the Lord uh, had given him his desire. He said, I am not going to die until I've seen the salvation. And I want to point out to you that though there was no room in the inn, there was a man that had the Holy Ghost on him that came to the temple and made room in his heart for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He made room for that baby. He took him up in his arms and he realized there was a precious gift given to the earth that day and the inhabitants thereof. I'm talking about room. I'm talking about instead of. I'm talking about coming out from under. But I want to tell you about another room. 
uh, Jesus talked to his disciples uh, and he said, listen, there's a room uh, that is an upper room uh, that I want you to go into. Uh, he said, I want you to go there uh, and I want you to tarry uh, because there's going to be something given you uh, that is going to endue you uh, with power. Uh, I'm telling you, they went into that room. Uh, they could have stayed out of that room. Uh, they could have stayed on the boat where they went fishing. Uh, they could have stayed in the other house they was in. Yeah. They could have stayed out with the shepherds in the field. But Jesus said, uh, there's a room. Uh, and it's not just a room. Uh, it's an upper room. Uh, it's a place that's going to bring you up uh, a little higher. Uh, it's going to take you from being lower. Uh, and it's going to put you in a place uh, that's
I'm telling you this to also establish a precedence for the devil. I heard tonight that hell needs to know who I am.
I sleep in the bed. We wake up until 3 o'clock and we pray and cry. God, what next? But I'm here to tell you that God said that the church is going to be salt and it's going to be light. And the devil can try everything he wants. But I've got some help. the 
the Holy Ghost. That endowment of power in that upper room. Sister Judy, he's kept us, Sister Judy. He's kept us. He's kept us, sis. He has kept us. He's kept us. And I'm telling you, he's going to glorify us. He's going to glorify us because he's Holy Ghost. Listen, you know what? You know how I came up on this message? I, can't, I cannot remember if it was last night or the night before. I woke up in the middle of the night and the Lord said, when I step into the room. Come on. Come on. When I step into the room. See, here's the thing. We've got to figure out how to do church. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Come on. The quest needs to be how do we get out of the way <coughs> and let him do church? Right. Yes. Now, now, don't get me wrong. It's a tightrope because we're doing our best, man. We are playing, we are singing, we are worshiping, we're, 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 we're encouraging. But sometimes we'll walk in, we got so much on our mind. Yeah. We're going through the motions. But listen, when the king is in the room, it's got to change. Would you stand to your feet? These young ladies up here seeking in the face of God. You young lady fighting so many spirits already, so many thoughts. See, God has a plan for you. And the devil's trying to abort. God wants to manifest in your life. God wants to kill it. Uh, the devil wants to kill it. He wants to kill it before it can ever come to fruition. But we got a job in just saying, God, listen, I, I don't know how old you are, but I can just imagine I was a, as a teenager, I was conscious of my height. I was conscious of my, my I had a chip too. Thank God for this. I got a first mark on my neck. I used to call I used to be called Hickey Neck. Hey Hickey Neck, Hickey Neck. There's a hundred things Come on. that wants to go through our mind. The devil attaches spirits right. to that stuff. Yeah. The next thing you know, we're suicidal. And all the time, people around us are going, are going my God, I love that girl. Yeah. My God, she's such a blessing. Yes. 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 When she just walks in the room, she lights it up. Yeah. My Lord, the singing, all oh, the anointing. Right. Yeah. And you don't, you don't hear that because what you hear is the devil. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, that's right. singing, God, you keep singing God. You young people, keep seeking the Lord. Because I'm here to tell you, if you'll let him take the throne of your heart. Yes. Life won't always be. Listen to me. We talk about Christian life being hard. I'm going to tell you something. I lived out that gutter for a while. And I wouldn't trade you ever a trial, ever a trouble I've ever had for going back to the home lot. That's the truth. Come on, that's, that's the truth. I've tried all the stuff that they say is pleasure. And listen, I did have fun in sin for a season. But I want to tell you this. I woke up miserable. But when I wake up from one of these highs. I think about Brother Joey and I'm like, yeah, my buddy. You know? How the kid got good? Come on, are you determined tonight? That the King of Glory have the throne of your heart, so that when He walks in the room, there's a connection. Right. All right, somebody come get a song.